Hi, it's Katrina. From a new dinosaur that terrorized the T-Rex to the mysterious remains of a fierce female hunter, here are 10 amazing archaeological discoveries. Number 10. The Tomb of Romulus Legend goes that the city of Rome was founded by Romulus and Remus, twin brothers that were abandoned as babies and were raised by a she-wolf. They eventually grew up to be fearsome men who performed many heroic acts, until Romulus turned on his brother and killed him. Scholars have struggled to find out where the legend ends and the truth begins. But now, an interesting underground temple has just been uncovered near the Roman Forum that some believe could have been the final resting place for this legendary figure. Dating back to the 6th century BC, the chamber contains what looks like an altar and an empty sarcophagus. While there are no remains to be analyzed, the altar is located in the spot where ancient Romans believed Romulus was buried. It is also close to another shrine that was found nearby, said to hold the remains of a holy king called the Lapis Niger. This slab of black stone has an inscription warning people to stay away from the sacred grounds. According to the Colosseum Archaeological Park Director, regardless of whether this really is the tomb of Romulus, it is still an incredible find. Even if it wasn't him, the tomb still belonged to someone very important. Whether Romulus existed or not is not important, Italian archaeologist Paolo Carafa tells AFP. What matters is that this figure is considered by the ancients to mark the political birth of the city. Number 9. Mysterious Shipwreck There's nothing quite like a mysterious shipwreck to capture your imagination. Researchers working in the Gulf of Mexico accidentally stumbled upon the wreckage of an ancient ship, and the evidence is suggesting that the wreck and its crew met a rather brutal end. It was found by the team aboard the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's Okeanos Explorer while testing out a remotely operated vehicle just 160 miles from the shore. One of the researchers from the NOAA Office of Ocean Exploration and Research even told Newsweek that the discovery was 100% unexpected. It was like finding a needle in a haystack when you weren't even looking for one. The lost vessel is sitting about 1,400 feet beneath the surface, and it was likely built in the middle of the 1800s, but considering the researchers weren't expecting to find the ship, they didn't really know anything about it. They had to investigate on the fly. One of the main things that stood out were the charred pieces of timber, which led researchers to determine that the vessel was likely engulfed in flames and then destroyed while still above the surface, meaning the entire crew probably went down with the ship. But as for the true identification of the ship, nobody knows. Investigators can't find any records of it anywhere. It's a total mystery. Number 8. Hundreds of Sealed Coffins Egypt is a never-ending treasure trove of mummies, coffins, tombs, and pyramids. Just a couple months ago, Egypt announced yet another amazing discovery of over 100 intact sarcophagi, each of which dates back over 2,500 years. It was the largest and most impressive find of 2020, with the coffins being found buried within three shafts, all of them 40 feet beneath the Saqqara necropolis south of Cairo. Saqqara is an enormous site with plenty of secrets waiting to be uncovered, and excavations are constantly underway. This find came a month after archaeologists discovered 59 well-preserved and sealed coffins, also dating back over 2,500 years. The sealed wooden coffins were in pristine condition, along with their mummies wrapped in impressive burial shrouds emblazoned with hieroglyphic pictures. The mummies were top officials of the late period and Ptolemaic period of ancient Egypt. Over 40 statues and funerary masks were also uncovered. Another two wooden statues were found in the tomb belonging to an ancient judge of the 6th dynasty, according to Mustafa Waziri, Secretary General of Egypt's Supreme Council of Antiquities. The beauty of the statue is seen in the intricacy of its eyebrows, mustache, and eyelashes. It is absolutely beautiful and wonderful, he added. The sarcophagi will be distributed among several museums in Egypt, including the yet-to-be-opened Grand Egyptian Museum at the Giza Plateau. And now for number 7, but first want to say a big thank you to Sunny London and Hampus S for supporting Origins Explained. If you are new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button to join the Origins Explained family. We'd love to have you! Number 7. Ancient Assyrian Rock Carvings War is not good business for archaeology. When ancient carvings of an old Assyrian king were first discovered in Iraq in 2012, archaeologists were excited. The rock carvings were the first of their kind discovered in Iraq in at least 150 years and yet archaeologists were forced to abandon the site in 2014 when Islamic forces moved in just 15 miles away. Since then, the 10 rock reliefs spread throughout the Kurdistan region of Iraq went uninvestigated, until now. Archaeologists were finally able to return to the site and make some amazing discoveries. 
It turns out that Assyrian rock reliefs are more awesome than anyone could have guessed. Researchers are saying that the reliefs probably once decorated much more of the region, but that they are currently not visible at the surface, meaning more digging will need to be done to reveal more of the ancient artwork and more of the story of the ancient Assyrians, who of course ruled a huge region of the Middle East between 2500 BC to 600 BC. The empire stretched all the way from Egypt to the edge of Syria. These stunning art reliefs depict an unknown ancient king surrounded by gods, horned lions, and mythical dragons. Number 6. The Legendary Spinosaurus The first fossilized evidence of the legendary Spinosaurus was discovered in Egypt back in the early 1910s, then later destroyed at the Munich Paleontological Museum when it was bombed during the war in 1944. Since then, only a handful of Spinosaurus remains have been found, almost all of them incomplete, without enough information to paint a broader picture of the beast for paleontologists. They are famous for the large sail on their backs held up by spines, hence their name, and they had a head like a crocodile with large conical teeth, but nobody knew what its tail looked like. That has recently changed. According to Smithsonian Magazine, a new discovery in Morocco is bringing more information to light about the Spinosaurus than ever before. It's all thanks to a team of researchers who uncovered a fossilized tail of a Spinosaurus from 95 million years ago. The reason this find is so incredible is that it now suggests that the Spinosaurus had a tail that it used for swimming. Researchers are saying that its tail is unmistakably aquatic and that it was likely used as an oar for directing the Spinosaurus through the water. The structure of the bones and robotic modeling of the tail's movement has helped put together a much clearer image of this legendary monster. We now know that the Spinosaurus was the first carnivorous swimming dinosaur. It was basically a T-Rex with a fin and a tail, only bigger, meaner, and more versatile. These guys could get to over 50 feet long and weigh 7 tons. It probably navigated rivers like a crocodile but on a massive scale. Scientists are returning to the deserts to search for more bones to create a 3D model of the updated Spinosaurus. Number 5. Oldest Ever Human Bones Many anthropological discoveries in recent years have challenged essentially everything we previously thought about the earliest modern humans. Researchers have long believed that the first Homo sapiens evolved in East Africa roughly 200,000 years ago. The 2017 discovery of fossilized human bones, teeth, and stone tools dating back 315,000 years in Morocco has greatly challenged this notion. Discovered in a mine on a remote mountain, they are the oldest human remains ever discovered. Their age has stunned scientists since they are at least 100,000 years older than we thought. I was expecting them to be old, but not that old. Jean-Jacques Hublin, a senior archaeologist at the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology, told The Guardian, It looks like our species was already present probably all over Africa by 300,000 years ago. If there was a Garden of Eden, it might have been the size of the continent. To Hublin, the discovery means more than just a relocation of what we consider the birthplace of modern humans. When we found the skull and mandible, I was emotional, he said. They are only fossils, but they have been human beings, and very quickly you make a connection with these people who lived and died here 300,000 years ago. Our ancestors at Jebel Irhud had an elongated brain case compared to those of people today, suggesting that our brains evolved within our lineage and were not inherited from our predecessors. These early humans were also more stout and muscular, and had much larger lower jaws than we do, but otherwise looked very similar to today's humans. There may be more remains at the site waiting to be found. Number 4. Fierce Female Hunter A new study is changing what we thought we knew about the hunter-gatherer relationship between men and women thousands of years ago. It turns out that over 9,000 years ago in the Andes Mountains, men and women hunted on equal footing. While most people believe men were hunters, while women were gatherers, staying behind taking care of children, they were also out hunting with the men. In 2018, researchers discovered six burial sites in the south of Peru. Two of them contained hunting tools, but one was full of artifacts including a hunting toolkit with projectile points and flakes used to hunt big game. He must have been a very great hunter and an important person in the community, but Professor James Watson from the University of Arizona proposed that perhaps this wasn't a man at all. After a protein analysis, it was determined it was a female. So the research team started thinking, was this just a fluke? Or were there more female hunters in the Americas? A huge investigation followed, in which 429 skeletons from 107 different burial sites across the Americas were analyzed. The results suggest that between 30% and 50% of ancient hunters were indeed female, meaning that the ancient indigenous people of North America, Central America, and South America 
likely treated the females with as much respect in the community as they treated the males. Number three, the oldest footprints. Researchers recently found hundreds of fossilized footprints that date back at least 120,000 years, making them some of the oldest on Earth. They were found in Saudi Arabia, and they are now saying that the footprints point to the earliest physical evidence of humans moving through that region of our planet. This information was brought to light in a new study published in Science Advances, after researchers discovered the fossilized footprints during a survey at a prehistoric lake in the Nefud Desert. Researchers found animal footprints, many of which they believe belong to horses, camels, and elephants. But what's really remarkable is that elephants should have been gone from this region about 300,000 years prior. Nobody really knows what the elephants were doing there, or what species of elephant they were. But let's talk about the human footprints, or more accurately, the hominin footprint. The researcher found seven such imprints fossilized in the Earth, which leads them to believe that they were the first people to enter the Arabian Peninsula. No other evidence has been found, such as tools or animal carcasses that may have been utilized by humans. This has led researchers like Matthew Stewart from the Max Planck Institute for Chemical Ecology to surmise that the humans weren't in the region for long and were likely passing through 120,000 years ago, when the weather on the planet changed in such a way to allow migration of our first Homo sapien ancestors. Number 2. Giant Predatory Dinosaur A new giant dinosaur has been discovered in Utah. Named Mycororum cyats, it is one of the three largest carnivorous dinosaurs ever discovered in North America. The partial skeleton was discovered in the Cedar Mountain Formation. It was an enormous predator and is named cyats after the cannibalistic monster from the Ute tribe legend. The bones found belong to a specimen that would have been over 30 feet long and weighed over 4 tons. And that's just a juvenile! This terrifying creature was the apex predator for 30 million years before the tyrannosaurs arrived and took over. For a while, their large size prevented smaller tyrannosaurs from taking their place at the top of the food chain. They belong to the Carcharodontosaurian group of theropods, whose more famous members include giants like the Argentinian Giganotosaurus. While some have been found in other parts of the world, it is the first time this dinosaur has been found in North America. Dr. Peter Makovicki of the Field Museum of Natural History says that this dinosaur comes from the middle of a 30 million year gap in the fossil record of North America, where very few fossils of predatory dinosaurs have been found. Something happened that made the Carcharodontosaurs, including Cyats, disappear. And that's when Tyrannosaurus took over. Number 1. The Oldest Vikings An amazing discovery of a Viking settlement could change the way we view the ancient seafaring people. There was a Viking outpost discovered in Newfoundland, Canada back in the 1960s. This was built about 1,000 years ago, likely during the first European visit to North America. However, most scientists believe it was a total fluke and that the Vikings never came back. However, new evidence is now challenging that theory. Sagas from the Vikings told of their journeys to the New World, plural, journeys. So scholars were suspicious that there was probably more than one voyage. Now there is solid proof. There have recently been three additional Viking sites excavated in Canada, two of them also located in Newfoundland, and a third site located on the remote Baffin Island in the Canadian Arctic. What's even more interesting is that archaeologists have discovered a series of pitfalls that they believe were used by the original Vikings in North America to capture giant animals like caribou. It turns out that the Vikings hunted, built small settlements, and may have even been more determined to settle here than previously thought. Archaeologists still need more dating info and excavations to be 100% sure all of these settlements belong to the Vikings, which is not always easy to get. Considering that they really did land in the most remote parts of North America, where even today people would have a hard time surviving, it doesn't seem like they were able to make it further south. The only possible piece of evidence is a coin from Norway dating back to that time period that appeared in Maine. However, the story of how it got so far south is a mystery. Thanks for watching! Which of these new discoveries was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below and remember to hit that subscribe button for more videos like these! See you soon! Bye!